Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. I went back and did some modifications to the glider. Friends, I also went back and modified the launcher. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So version 5 is over here, and the system was pretty slick. It had smaller notches and larger notches, so then when you stuck in these little pegs, it held it together pretty well. Uh, the problem was, uh, these things... Uh, were sometimes flimsy depending on the corrugation and they were also just harder to assemble I was doing two layers to make it more rigid so there was a little more cardboard and a few more cuts so last night I decided I wanted to create one that only used one layer so what I did was I took these and extended them out I made the holes larger and this just locks in like this and I am choosing to add a little bit of glue but once I've got that glue in there I am finding that with a total of three parts I am still getting a solid launcher that's holding up just fine a little bit of glue holding these pegs in place has been awesome and it's a lot more efficient to build and cut than my old version 5 if you're in class getting ready to assemble one, make sure you remember that the glue is stored like this so it's going to come out reasonably fast. Take your two parts and find the right way to connect them. Take your glue bottle out, uncap it, put just a tiny bit of glue out here and in the middle. Cap it, keep it ready. Put those two pieces together and then in these grooves is where you're going to add a little bit more glue. And it's just a tiny bit. You can set it down. Make sure you get the cap back on. Because that's the only way we keep the glue flowing. And then find the right way to fit the pegs in. And once you've got them stuck in there. Then you just need to let it sit for a while. So that it'll dry. That's how easy it is to create your new launcher once yours has had time to dry it's time to add the rubber band here's my trick for doing the rubber band go through the bottom so i'm just pinching this and pushing it through and then when you've got that hole that's the hole the rest comes through so that you're pulling your glider the right direction if you do it the opposite way it's not a end of the world type thing but this I have found just has it lined up better for when you're actually launching your glider. So let's do a quick test flight. Alrighty, so remember this is what our projects almost all look like. When you're getting ready to launch it, I recommend holding it by the tail fin. If you hold your launcher like this and you'll notice this is a dry one, uh, you got to make sure yours has time to dry. Then you can dangle that down, hook it, Pull it back just a little and do your awesome test flights. That one wasn't too bad. Let's see if I got a better one. So this, my friends, is my modified wing design. You can see I'm still holding it by the tail. Let's dangle that rubber band down. And let's see what the modified design can do. Not too bad. This is another modified design. This one has a fancy uh, F-15 style or F-22 style tail fin. Notice I have to hold it a little different where I'm grabbing in between. Let's see what it does. Not bad. That one might not have had enough weight on the front. One nice thing about the students being gone is I can grab the drawer and test some other ones. So this is actually somebody's in class. Let's see how it goes. That, my friends, is the flight we're looking for. Straight and almost to the end of the room. Alrighty, friends, so remember this video was really about the sweet new launcher that's easy to assemble. I will have a link to this on Thingiverse, and I'll put that link in the description. Friends, if you're interested in the glider, there will also be a card up above so you can get to the glider creation in Tinkercad. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.